Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a Web Design Tuts Plus quick tip. I'm Adi and today I'll show you how to make a countdown timer. Now, this is one of those flipboard type timers. Um, it looks something like this and uh, it's very easy to do. And we'll spend the next 10 minutes or so uh, designing one in Photoshop. So let's fire up Photoshop. I made a 500 by 500 pixels document here and I'll start off with creating a new background layer fill it with white and I'll apply just a very dark pattern to it something like this it doesn't really matter I'm just doing this for uh, as a generic background and we'll begin with the round rectangle tool set the radius to about five pixels make sure you check align edges just so your uh, the shape you're drawing will align to the pixel grid and let's begin with a 90 by about 120 something like this okay let me zoom in here fill it with white to begin with. Now we'll call this uh, base. Now we want to give uh, we want to give this timer one of those flipboard looks. So if I switch back here you can see that uh, it has like additional sheets of paper below it and above it. So it looks almost like an open notebook and we also have a nice uh, lighting and shadow effect here just so we can uh, create that middle fold and I'll show you a very quick way to do that. So we'll begin by uh, duplicating this. We'll call it under one and bring it under your base. Nudge it down a bit and go ahead and apply some layer styles to the base. We'll apply a stroke, lower the opacity to about 20%. You can leave the color at black, one pixel in size. Okay, and we'll also apply a shadow, drop shadow. Uh, you can leave the default settings, blend mode multiply, set to black, uh, just uncheck global light and change the angle to 90 degrees so that our shadow is perfectly vertical and change the distance to about 2 pixels and then lower the opacity to about 20% okay copy this style to under 1 and then I'm gonna duplicate under 1 And I'm gonna nudge it down something like this now of course you can play around with it until you get the result that you want but personally I think this is just let's see maybe one more yeah that's perfect so you can just nudge it until you get the desired uh, paper effect below here. Okay, and one last thing, I'll also, I'll duplicate this once again and I'll call it under top. I realize these are not the most inspired uh, names for layers, but uh, this is a quick tip. So I'm trying to minimize the, the time here. Okay, just nudge it up just like you did uh, with these until you get something like this all right pretty good next up uh, we gotta deal with the shadow and the lights now I'm just gonna make a very rustic primitive uh, sketch here so you can see what I'm talking about when saying lights and shadows uh, so I'm just gonna grab my brush tool and I want you to imagine 
that this right here is the actual flipboard, right? This is uh, the middle fold and these are the sides. So if light comes from this direction, this top bit will have a light applied to it. This top bit will have shadow. The same goes for this light and this shadow. All right, so I hope I, I made that clear. Um, so by using that principle, let me zoom in. We'll start with a gradient and I'm going to create a new layer, call it uh, shadow bottom, make a selection about half the size of, um, of our uh, timer here and you can fill it with white and then apply a gradient. You can uh, use a black to white gradient. Just make sure you lower the opacity to about 15, 20%. Click OK. And now we gotta hide these edges. So we'll just mask it, All right? We'll grab under top or let's just grab the base and click on shadow bottom and click mask. All right. Uh, next up, we'll duplicate this and bring it up like this. And let's just go in here and get rid of these round edges. Oops. So you can easily do this by clicking on the actual mask and painting in it just to hide uh, the stuff that you don't want. Okay, and there it is. On the top bit, what I like to do is lower the opacity a bit to about 10% so that this gradient is a lot uh, more faded than the bottom one. Click OK. And next, we got to add the actual text. So I'll use a very simple font, black, let's see, it's Helvetica new, I will create a bold font, size should be about 60 pixels, okay, now let's position this to the middle, something like that. And the very last thing we need to do is add that uh, the middle fold, which is going to be a simple white line. So grab the line tool, one pixel in height, fill it with white, and make sure it's above the text. Okay. Nudge the text up. And also we'll hide the edges of that line. Okay, and there it is. You can play around with it, maybe nudge it down a bit so that the actual fold is right through the middle. And to get that realistic effect, make, make sure your separator, your fold, is right below where the shadow starts. Okay. After this, we can just uh, create another text, a descriptive text, which can be used for you know days, hours, minutes, and stuff like that. Lower the opacity to about fifty percent. By the way, another quick tip here: if uh, you're on the layer and you want to uh, decrease or increase its opacity instead of going here and maybe like typing the value or something like that uh, you can just select the layer and just type the value automatically so if i press one it's going to be 10 percent two is going to be 20 percent five five 
50% and you get the idea. To go back to 100%, you just press zero. All right. And with that said, you can duplicate this and create multiple uh, timer units, so to speak. And this can be used for uh, hours and this one for minutes. And that's it guys, uh, a really uh, a really fast timer design. I, ho I hope you guys liked it. And make sure you leave your comments and subscribe to Web Design Tuts if you haven't already. And this is Adi, thanks for watching, and I'm signing out.